Well, I mean, you never know exactly what they're going to do, but they were obviously trying to take away our big play, playing two safeties high, which obviously is a hat on a hat inside. So we felt like if we if we could block man on man, we could run the ball on. How about the way you committed to the run early in the week? Schematically, were there things you saw, and how do you, you know, tell your receivers, hey, we may not be throwing it like we did last week? Well, I mean, defenses are going to adjust, and so if you run the ball well, it helps out the pass game. You know? So I mean, you know, we we made an emphasis to run the ball, and it's not any emphasis that we don't make every week, to be honest with you. I mean, if we see a team that's going to play and they're going to have a weak box, then we got to run the football. You can't let people sit there and play too high coverage on you and um, and sit there and keep throwing into it. You know, so I mean, it was an emphasis we made, and uh, it was a challenge really and to our to our offense, and uh, and they responded. And, uh, and when when they came down and took it away, then we made some opportunities on the outside. I know you guys were, were confident in Bowie, but what does it say about what he gained in your guys' mind? 20 some carries and 200 yards, 200 some yards rushing. You know, I mean, we all think Bowie's a good player. He's young, and so the more the more times we hand the ball to him, he just gets better and better. And um, the biggest thing, in my opinion, is that last drive. You know, I mean, when when they know we're going to run the ball, and he still kept breaking through. And I mean, that guy. You know, I don't know how much he weighs or whatever, but he always goes forward and he finishes runs forward, and so he's a powerful guy. And so that last drive was basically Bowie, and you know, he won us the game.